In 2021, Mercury shook the boating world with the Verado V12, 600 horsepower, groundbreaking tech, and a $1.5 billion promise of marine supremacy. The official story says it's a revolution, a V12 engine with truck-sized muscle, two-speed transmission, and steerable gear case, all crafted to conquer the seas. But behind every headline lurks the truth. Mercury never promoted, crippling weight, eye-watering price tags over $80,000, and complex dealer-only servicing that left proud owners stranded and fuming. If the Verado V12 was supposed to change everything, why are so many boaters regretting their leap? This is the shocking truth about Mercury Verado V12 outboard, and what you discover next may change how you look at marine power forever. The launch event for the Mercury Verado V12 wasn't just a press release, it was a coronation. Mercury executives stood beneath spotlights, flanked by banners reading, there's nothing else like it. The claims came rapid fire. 600 horsepower, the world's first production V12 outboard, a two-speed automatic transmission, and steerable gear case. The crowd heard numbers that sounded more like supercar specs than marine hardware. A 7.6-liter V12 block, cranking out torque meant for ocean crossings, not just lake runs. Mercury's CEO declared the V12 a revolution, the product of $1.5 billion in research and development. The message was clear. This wasn't just a new outboard. It was the future, engineered to put Mercury in a class of its own. The company promised a new era of boating, where luxury center consoles and offshore yachts could finally have the muscle and maneuverability of inboard power, but with the flexibility of outboards. Promotional videos showed the V-12 roaring to life, propelling 50-footers onto plane in seconds. Technical leads boasted about the automatic two-speed gearbox, borrowed from high-end automotive tech, delivering maximum punch off the line, then shifting seamlessly for efficient cruising. The steerable gear case, another industry first, meant tighter turns and joystick docking, all while the engine block itself stayed locked in place. Mercury's marketing blitz hammered home the message. No other outboard could touch this. The V12 would make older V8s and V6s obsolete overnight. Dealers lined up, eager to get their hands on the new flagship. The company's own slogan echoed through every ad and interview. Durable, reliable, easy to maintain. There's nothing else like the V12 Verado in the marketplace today. But as the confetti settled and the cameras turned off, a faint tension lingered beneath the spectacle. The price tag, over $80,000 for a single engine, raised eyebrows, even among seasoned boaters. The sheer size and weight of the V-12 left some wondering what sacrifices had been made to reach this new frontier. For a moment, none of that mattered. Mercury had thrown down the gauntlet, and the world was watching. The Verado V-12 was here, and on launch day, it looked unstoppable. Under the hood, the Mercury Verado V-12 outboard is less marine engine, more mechanical spectacle. Start with the block. 7.6 liters of displacement, each piston the size of a soda can, arranged in a V12 layout straight out of a European supercar. This isn't just big for an outboard, it's bigger than the engine in most pickup trucks. The result? Instant torque, enough to launch a 20-ton yacht onto plane like it weighs nothing at all. But size is only the beginning. The V12 introduces the world's first two-speed automatic transmission in an outboard. At low speeds, the gearbox holds first, delivering raw, unfiltered power for dockside maneuvering or punching through heavy chop. Once the boat's up and running, the transmission shifts seamlessly into a taller gear, keeping revs low, fuel usage in check, and noise down to a hush. It's a trick borrowed from high-end automotive engineering, now reimagined for the open sea. Then comes the real party piece, a steerable gear case, hidden beneath the waterline. Unlike every outboard before it, the V-12's entire engine block stays locked in place. Only the lower unit, the gear case, 
swivels, guided by electro-hydraulic actuators and digital sensors. That means tighter turns, smoother joystick docking, and the ability to mount engines closer together on massive transoms. For multi-engine setups, the gear cases can work in perfect harmony, spinning contra-rotating props that bite into the water, delivering grip and control at speeds and angles that would leave traditional outboards floundering. Mercury's engineers didn't stop at brute force. The V12's digital throttle and shift system, adaptive to the millisecond, gives instant response with the flick of a lever. The power head stays fixed, freeing up precious transom space and allowing designers to pack more muscle onto the back of the boat than ever before. One lead engineer, captured on launch day, summed it up this way. We wanted to build something that would make people rethink what's possible on the water. This isn't just an outboard, it's a statement. The spec sheet reads like science fiction. 600 horsepower, two gears, steerable lower unit, twin contra-rotating props. Every number is a record, every feature an industry first. But for all its bravado, the V12's complexity is more than skin deep. Every breakthrough, every moving part, brings a new layer of engineering, and with it, new questions about what happens when the future is this bold and this complicated. At 1,260 pounds, the Mercury Verado V12 lands on the transom like an anchor made of ambition. That's nearly double the heft of a Yamaha XTO offshore and heavier than some compact cars. For boat builders, this isn't just a spec sheet number, it's a structural challenge. Some hulls needed redesigning just to shoulder the load. For owners, the weight means more than just a deeper draft. It's a constant calculation. How will the boat handle in a crosswind or when seas turn ugly? Every extra pound rides along, changing the ride, the balance, the very DNA of the vessel. But the physical weight is only the first test. The sticker shock comes next. The V12's base price starts at $77,000 before controls, bread, rigging, drury and or installation. Outfitting a quad setup for a big offshore center console? That's a propulsion bill north of $400,000. Even single-engine buyers find themselves comparing the V12's price to a new luxury car, not a conventional outboard. For some, the cost is a badge of honor. For others, it's a hard stop, especially when the engine's complexity means higher insurance premiums and a steeper depreciation curve. Then comes the invisible burden, service lock-in. Routine maintenance, oil, filters, anodes, can be handled by most shops. But anything deeper, any warning light or fault code, triggers a wall of proprietary technology. The V12's brain is off limits without Mercury's G3 or G4 diagnostic software. Only certified dealers armed with factory-issued laptops and special cables can access the engine's guts. Independent mechanics are locked out, no matter their experience, even seasoned techs used to wrenching on every brand in the marina, find themselves boxed out by software gates and licensing keys. One veteran mechanic sums it up. This isn't just a motor, it's a car engine bolted to a boat. You can't just plug in any scan tool here. The G3 system locks you in and updates are mandatory to clear many codes. For owners, the result is a loss of autonomy. A simple fault can mean waiting weeks for a certified tech especially in remote locations or during peak season. Dealer-only diagnostics mean higher bills, longer downtimes, and a creep in anxiety. If something goes wrong, you're at the mercy of the network. The pressure mounts with every layer, first the weight, then the price, then the realization that ownership means surrender and control. The freedom promised by 600 horsepower comes with strings attached, thick, proprietary, and impossible to untangle without Mercury's blessing. For some, that's the price of progress. For others, it's a deal breaker before the first turn of the key. The first season with the Verado V12 brought a new kind of anxiety to the docks. 
For every owner grinning at the helm, there was another watching the dash, waiting for the warning chime. The numbers tell the story. In the first two years, about one in nine V12s logged a critical failure, 11 to 12 percent, according to dealer warranty data. Most of these breakdowns struck before the 200-hour mark, a window when most boaters still expect trouble-free running. It starts with a sudden drop in power. The screen flashes a guardian mode alert, a digital leash meant to protect the engine from further harm. But on the water, guardian mode means something else, limp home, or sometimes no home at all. Steering can lock, throttle response drops, and the boat becomes a 20,000 pound question mark drifting in the current. For some, the only option left is a radio call for help. One charter operator, based out of the Florida Keys, remembers the day both his V-12s went silent. He had just cleared the reef with a full load of clients when the port engine dropped to idle. Then the starboard followed. Both screens lit up with fault codes, gear case sensor, steering actuator. He tried every trick in the book, cycling the keys, checking fuses, even manually moving the joystick. Nothing. The engines refused to respond. He radioed in for a tow and spent the next four hours watching the sun drop while his guests grew restless. We paid for power, not panic, one passenger muttered. That lost day cost the captain more than just a tip jar. He missed two more charters waiting for dealer parts, and the local shop couldn't even clear the codes without Mercury's laptop and a fresh software update. Service records back up stories like his. In salt heavy waters from the Gulf Coast to Australia, gear case actuator failures and sensor dropouts triggered guardian mode in clusters. Some units logged less than 100 hours before the first shutdown. Dealers filed warranty claims for corroded connectors, waterlogged sensors, and seized actuators, each one a ticket to the back of a growing repair queue. Field reports show up to 15% failure rates in harsh environments, far above industry norms for flagship engines. The Coast Guard's logs don't name names, but they do record a spike in mechanical assists for large outboard-powered boats in 2022 and 20. Owners, stranded by a software safeguard, waited for help while the V-12's promise of freedom faded into frustration. The real drama didn't come from blown pistons or spectacular explosions. It came from silence, from a boat that simply wouldn't move, and a captain who couldn't fix it without a dealer's blessing. For many, the V-12's greatest risk wasn't fire or flood. It was being left adrift, powerless, with nothing but a blinking guardian mode warning and the long wait for a tow. The shock wasn't just in the price tag, but in the realization that the most advanced outboard on the water could turn into dead weight with a single sensor fault. That's the reality Mercury never put in the brochure. By the start of 2024, the numbers on the resale market told a story that Mercury's marketing never mentioned. Boats powered by the Verado V12 were dropping in value faster than any flagship outboard in recent memory. Auction listings showed luxury center consoles, less than two years old and with barely 200 hours on their V12s, fetching just half of their original sticker price. Dealers, once eager to stock the next big thing, started offering trade-in allowances as much as 20% below what they'd pay for the same hull with a more conventional V8. The reason? Buyers were spooked. High maintenance costs, long waits for certified service, and the looming threat of dealer-only diagnostics had turned the V12 from a status symbol into a risky bet. Finance companies noticed too. Some lenders tacked on an extra three quarters of a percent to loans for V12-powered boats. Others cut maximum terms to just 10 or 12 years, or demanded down payments as high as 30%. In some cases, applications were flat out denied unless buyers could prove they lived near an authorized Mercury service center. Underwriting memos cited the same worries, complex repairs, unpredictable downtime, and uncertain resale values. One Florida dealer put it bluntly, 
I've got a million dollar center console with twin V12 sitting on the lot for six months. Every buyer asks the same thing. How much is it going to cost me if something goes wrong? And how fast can I get out if I need to sell? For owners, the shock didn't come from a breakdown or a tow bill. It hit when the market decided that the world's most advanced outboard was now a liability. Overnight, the V12 Verado became an asset that nobody wanted to hold for long. Mercury's V12 Verado didn't just break the horsepower ceiling, it stood alone on a windswept summit. No other outboard in production touched 600 horsepower. Yamaha's XTO offshore stopped at 425. Suzuki and Honda never broke 350. Seven Marine's 627 horsepower monster was already out of the game by 2021. For nearly five years, Mercury's V12 was the only ticket to this rarefied air, a solitary giant in a world of V8s and V6s. But isolation comes with a price. On the regulatory front, Mercury had an ace up its sleeve, an advanced catalyst system borrowed from automotive engineering. This wasn't just about passing EPA standards, it was about crushing them. The V12's emissions profile ran so clean, Mercury banked surplus EPA credits, a kind of regulatory currency. These credits could be saved for future models, traded with competitors, or used to offset dirtier engines elsewhere in the lineup. Industry filings and EPA data confirmed Mercury's position. The V12 generated more credits than any other outboard in its class. Competitors watched from the sidelines, unwilling or unable to match the cost and complexity of a 600-horsepower behemoth with a full catalyst suite. Some analysts called it a masterstroke, a way to future-proof the brand against tightening emissions rules. Others saw a gamble, an engineering moonshot that left Mercury exposed if buyers balked at the price, the weight, or the service headaches. One industry analyst put it this way, Mercury didn't just leapfrog the competition, they jumped into a category of one. That gives them leverage, but it also means there's no safety net if the market turns. For now, the V12 Verado sits alone at the top, a marvel of emissions compliance and brute force. Whether that's foresight or folly depends on who's holding the keys and who's left holding the bill. In 21, Mercury unveiled the Verado V12 with a headline 600 horsepower and a $1.5 billion research and development investment, calling it a revolution in outboard power. But behind the record-setting specs, owners soon faced a 1,260-pound engine, $77,000-plus price tags, and dealer-only diagnostics that limited independent repairs. Documented early failure rates reached 11 to 12 percent within the first 200 hours and proprietary service software left many stranded or facing higher costs. Resale values for V12-equipped boats dropped sharply between 2022 and 2024, with lenders tightening terms and dealers reporting rapid depreciation. Mercury's advanced catalyst system now exceeds EPA requirements, but no other manufacturer has followed them above 500 horsepower. Despite public promotional materials, Many service bulletins and internal failure reports remain undisclosed. The Verado V12 stands as both a technical milestone and a cautionary tale, leaving the industry to weigh whether extreme complexity truly serves boaters or just locks them in. The full story of its long-term legacy remains unwritten, 